What you doing now, Dave? Well, the fireplace stopped working and it keeps tripping the circuit breaker. So, we're going to take it all apart from A and follow it all the way to Z to see where my problem is. I got a short somewhere. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. But I took the screw out of here already to hold it in place but in typical DRV fashion, nothing better than a sheet metal screw into wood. That works real good. On this one strip. I think I'll see if I can find some uh, better screws. Well, at least the glass is still clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember how foggy it got? Oh, yeah. That's the new floor that Indiana Interstate put in when yeah. we had the uh, floor. rotted floor. Yeah. There it is. Ta-da! Ta-ta-ta! So I'm going to test it. If there's a short, that little light will come on right there. Alright. That means it's DC continuity and when you do this. See a little light? That means that two wires are touching. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's flickering. So. So you think I got a short in there then? Yeah, because if I go here. That's for the what? The TV? Yeah, it should power up. See, boom, uh, both of them. Everything's good on that one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, next step is outside. Well, let's go outside. <laughs> well, it's raining. No, it ain't. It's a little sprinkle here and there. It's okay, you're the one crawling on the ground. Here's a screwdriver. With electricity and rain. Come on. Electricity and water. I said all these look good. I don't see anything burnt or loose. You can see them. So we got box number two. And then we go over here to box number three, four, five. And I'll put this one back together. Don't know which box feeds the... Uh... No, I have no idea. So now you just got to check them all. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it plays out. That one, maybe it's the one above it. Or maybe it's one of these four. Ah, process of elimination. Yeah, pretty much. Hot stick. And it detects whether you have current going through a wire or not. Instead of opening up all the boxes and trying to guess which wire is which, seeing how that circuit shut off, go through all the wires, and the one that doesn't show juice going through it is in my target. See, watch. You hold it up to a, uh -huh. a wire. Ah. Four leads right here. It's detecting that one. Detecting that one. That's my boy. Right here. Okay. And that one goes to this box. See? The first one, the first box? This box is hot. That box is hot. That one isn't. That one's hot. Okay, so it's your third one then. It's my third one. Well, that's a hell of a lot of time unscrewing all these things. Well, it tells me what boxes I got to aim at. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we're looking for. Well, with flashlight in hand, I don't see anything out the ordinary here. That all seems to be good. Let me put that right there. And you tell me when I flip that breaker if it goes. That's a mystery I'm not liking. Oh. 
what made it trip. And keep tripping. Yeah. These are both solid wires. This one isn't, but this one is. And those cinch caps don't go well on solid, solid wiring. They work great on a, you know, multi-strand wire like this is. But this coming out of here is Romex, which it doesn't uh, like to work well on. See how it's brown? Right here and here? Yeah. Tells me it's getting a little hot. Okay. Do you have different caps you can put on? Uh, yeah. I got some twist caps, but we'll see about that. Let's see if it, the fireplace turns on now. Okay. Got heat? La -dee da Okay, so now what? <laughs> well, I'm going to run it. But with that door off, that little cap off for a while, just to see what's going on with this thing. <coughs> see if it does it again. And when it does, go back there and feel those wires, see if they're warm. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem, those caps. Because I went out there and grabbed the hold of the neutral one and gave it a little tug, right off in my hand. Plus, I touched it. Just from that little run, it was a little warm. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a difference in the two, and what it is, is, see the little metal ring in there, and they mm -hmm. put the wires up in there, and then they crush it down on it. Well, the thing is that if you got a solid wire, it doesn't crush. They had a solid and a multi-strand wire together, so it won't really secure. And these are actually threaded up in there, so you thread those on real good and tight for mixing the two wires. These are meant for multi-stranded wires only. So, good chance there's a whole bunch of those that are wrong. The place is riddled with them. <laughs> good grief. So, good luck, huh? Attack them, as, attack them as you go. Yeah, hope don't burn the place down. Well, with DRV and all other, well, I shouldn't say all, but most, uh, RV manufacturers use uh, uh, Romex cable or Romex wire, which is solid strand wire, and then they use these little connectors. So that's not good. It should be all uh, stranded wire. In your opinion? In my opinion. I mean, they use it in airplanes. They use it in anything that shakes, rattles, and rolls. Because it has some flexibility. It has to flexibility, it. and these things actually. Grab a, when you crush it down, it grabs a hold of all those little strands of wire and crushes them. And it makes like a ball in there so it can't pull out. Not a, not a solid strand of wire won't do that. So yeah, it's basically a fire hazard. And you can see where it's kind of yellow coming up to here. Uh -huh. This tells me it's getting hot. Yeah, this, this cap right here pulled right off the solid wire. Like but Mm -hmm. If you notice it's still, it's on the multi-strand wire still, and I can't get that off. Oh. So that's how good it grips to those. Mm-hmm. There we go. Hey, Dave, I was looking on Facebook under the DRV Problems and Fixes page, and Roy Kramer had put in here, it's like a year ago, but he said, looks like I get to join them. My DRV almost burned to the ground club. And his fireplace quit. The idiot light outlet tester indicated an open neutral at the outlet. He found the problem in the double gang size junction box outside under the fridge where the power enters the kitchen slide. In. And he says here, please look inside those boxes to make sure the wire connections are tight. Because look at that. I mean, he's yeah, but his, look at this. His got actually got burnt. Look at this. Yep, got the wrong. Got the wrong connector. There you go. All of them are the wrong connector. Wow. They shouldn't be using solid strand or solid wire. Romex. They have a multi-strand Romex that they manufacture. It looks just like Romex, but it's multi-stranded wire. Probably more expensive. And they, use, they use that in boats. Probably costs more. It costs more. Yeah, it costs bottom a lot line, more. Bottom line, bottom line. What does it cost to have your RV replaced versus a little bit of wire? Yeah. Well, we thought we had it figured out, but Dave just shut the fireplace off and the breaker popped. Yep. Oh, no. 
popped again. Keeps popping. Ah, there must be some bad other ones. So after I repaired the one box, the breaker step kept popping, so I knew there was somewhere else down the line. So I tracked the wire down to the next box and opened it up, and look what I found. All right, I opened up box number two, and you can see right there, it's that fried wire up at the top. Uh -huh. Same animal as the other box. Now that is what happens when you use these uh, cinch caps. That's a good example of it right there. When you use a cinch cap with solid strand to multi-strand, it's a no-no. So now, is, did this one burn up mainly because the fireplace is a heat? Yeah, the, they draw a lot of, look at that, poop right off. Yep. They draw a lot of heat. A lot of juice which creates a lot of heat and resistance and then at the weakest link look what's left of that new uh, neutral wire wow that's it I count three strands in there that's it and then the rest is toast well that's the connector you're supposed to use I've multi-stranded to a solid copper wire so now we are done with that let's go see if the breaker will keep tripping Stay on? Uh-huh. It stayed on this time. Stayed on. Hey, now. That's been running for an hour now. So far, so good. We think we've solved our problem. <laughs> never say never. How many beers, Dave? Oh, God, this is 12. Well. It's Saturday. Right there, man. Time and a half. And he did have a little bit of rain. He did have a good rain delay. Hazardous it, working condition. Yes. If you look at your contract for hazardous working condition, it's double. That's right. So you get a case coming. I got a case coming. Sounds like a winner to me. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else we can find wrong for a case. Maybe I can make it two cases. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Either of us just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.